Yeah. Uh-huh. You know who it is. Speedy Temple, Speedy Temple, Speedy Temple. Uh. Hey everyone, my name is Speedy Tempo, and today I'm going to react finally to the last episode of Princess Trixie Sparkle, episode 11, called Betrayal. And last week I promised I would react to this episode this weekend, and that's what I'm going to do. And last episode, we saw that, we saw how... We saw how Estelle got her magic, because originally she was an earth pony. So she got her magic, her horn and her wings from Star Swirl of Beard. <laughs> Star Swirl of Beard, yes. I was blanking on his name. And it turns out that she was given Queen's magic to rule over Equestria, but she ran away from that responsibility, so that fell on to her younger sister, Celestia, who became a Alicorn 2 from Star Swirl of Bearded. Star Swirl of Bearded. That's a tough name to say for me. And that also, that power was also given to Luna, who was still unborn at the time. Which is kind of a cool backstory, now I think about it. And Celestia then defeated Estelle, Estelle, after, after she basically, well, she didn't kill Star Squirrel, but she turned him into the Tree of Harmony, which was a clever twist. And Celestia defeated Estelle by, well, I forgot exactly how she defeated her, but she defeated her, but not like outright destroyed her because she of course came back and we also learned that Shadow which is obviously a creation of Estelle he remained after she was I guess banished would be a better term and he became Luna's best friend which is which is how they know each other and that's basically where the episode <laughs> ended off oh and the main six Plus, Celestia and Luna are trapped in a dungeon. So, let's see how they get out of this and how we have a happy ending in three, two, one, go. Previously on Princess Trixie Sparkle. Previously on Princess Trixie Sparkle. I have a chance for something great, and I'm going to take it. Try and stop me now, Princess. Oh, yeah, Trixie became a shadow demon thing. The future ruler of Equestria, Nightmare Lulamoon. I'm yeah, afraid there are secrets in my past that I have spent centuries Twilight. trying to forget. For the first time in pony history, Star Swirl the Bearded chose an Earth Pony apprentice to carry on his legacy. Mm -hmm. That Earth Pony was Estelle. This is, ba Estelle this is basically going over everything I just said. In a grand ceremony in her honor that she would then use in her training. Starswell presented Estelle to the ponies and announced her true calling as their queen. Mm -hmm. And his final gift to her were a magnificent pair of wings. Mm. Starswell's plans came to an abrupt halt. Estelle rejected his proposal to take his place, fled the castle, you know, I'm just abandoning realizing her throne and the pony she like ruled. To it was the narrator. events of her reappearance well, that have haunted me all these years. Unicorn but it is the source of my terrible mistakes. And the reason for her hatred of me now. No! Ugh. What have you done? Such a perfect ending for the mighty Star Swirl the Bearded. Forever trapped in the form of a tree. In my anguish, I banish my sister into the tapestry and retrieve ah, the amulet right, where she right. had stored this dangerous new power. You abandoned me, Shadow. You were my brother, my only real friend. I never stopped loving you. I never want to see you again. Your final test and demonstration of loyalty is to assist me in the destruction of this tree. This will allow you to see into my past so that you may understand why things must be the way they are. 
Well, Marky did a lot of work in this episode. I just realized that. Well, last episode. Her wisdom, benevolence, and grace will guide us into a bright future for all pony kind. I present to you, Queen Estelle. Oh, this is still in the flashback. I'm, I'm a queen. I'm a queen. Are you sure this is real? Are these real? Is this real? I assure you, your wings and crown are as real as the destiny I have prepared you for. But why? You've never turned your apprentices into an alicorn before, or, or a ruler? Is this just because the king has left Equestria without an heir? Partially, though I suspect that is the way of one's destiny. Oftentimes our fate is riddled with both the good and the bad, both necessary to turn us into the selves we are meant to be. What if I mess up? What if I'm not wise or benevolent or graceful, like you said? Have you seen how clumsy I can be? That's not graceful. That's the furthest thing from graceful. Trust in my prophecy, Estelle. If you believe yourself to be so, then you shall be. Though, there is one gift remaining that must be given before your training is completed. More? But, but why? Come with me. If you want to live. <laughs> I can help myself. My dearest pupil, long have I waited for this day. Even before your birth, I had seen the majesty of your reign and learned of the prosperity of your ponies. Equestria must always know such happiness. And with this final blessing, I hope to ensure it. The elements of harmony? With their power, I bestow upon you eternal life. So the elements can give immortality, apparently. Okay. I can believe that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you felt the same way. All of those hours we spent and the magic we created, there was an obvious chemistry, but I just didn't want to admit it. I knew who you were and what you represented. And then there was me, this insignificant little pony, just like all your other apprentices. So I started thinking of ways I could make you stay, you know? And then the war broke out and you relied on me and- What are you talking about? Love! You love me, just like I love you! We're going to rule Equestria forever, right? You've made me immortal, just like you! We'll be the greatest rulers of our time! Of all time! i waited so long to tell you how I feel! Estelle, you're speaking nonsense. I am an old stallion, worn and weary by the years I have lived. Which is why you needed a companion. I knew I was falling for you, and it's just like you said. It's destiny! Your destiny is to rule. And it is the one I have prepared you to face. With you? Alone. What? I trained you to take my place, Estelle. Take your place? But what does that mean? It means I will finally be able to accept mortality and pass on like all other ponies before me. You... you want to die? You're going to take up my mantle and continue my work. Perhaps even unlock the magic of the elements of harmony that I was unable to achieve. How? How will you die? Do not think of it as a death, my student, but as a release from centuries of weight and toil. This is why your training and ascension is as important as it is. But don't you see? Having me as a companion will fix all of that. You don't have to be alone anymore. Estelle. We will rule and provide safety and security. And we'll have each other like we're meant to have. Estelle. You can't deny it, Starswell. You can't deny that you haven't felt this. I'm giving you my heart, please. If you leave me, I'll be alone. You're letting your emotions get the better of you. Had I known you saw me as anything more than a mentor, I would have put a cease to it sooner. You're denying it? Denying me? You are prophesied to take my place, and it is your duty to make it so! So... you need me. You need me to take your immortality. <sighs> yes, my dear student. Only you can finally set my soul free. Then... I won't. I won't do that. I won't let you leave me. You'll see. 
You'll see how much I love you, and how good we can be together. Pastel? You'll see. We have all the time in the world now. Immortality with me is a blessing, not a curse. Oh boy. Do you understand now, little filly? You were in love with that wrinkly old stallion? I was young. I had the whole world in front of me, and he was the only stallion that paid me any attention. I didn't understand what love was. But when he spurned me as a companion and a pupil, it shattered my heart. When I first abandoned the castle, I hoped he would come after me and prove that I meant something to him. But he didn't, and my sorrow turned to anger. I returned to Equestria to demand. I mean, it's kind of hard for him to follow you since he doesn't have wings. But, but I learned he had cursed my sister with it as well. But why am I here? I fear my magic alone is not enough. I need the assistance of another Alicorn to destroy Star Swirl, releasing all those his magic still affects. All those it still affects? Wait, you're talking about Celestia and Luna? Correct. This will leave Equestria needing a new Alicorn to take their place as leader, Princess Luna Moon. All right. Wait, but Let's wouldn't her, wouldn't Twilight's Alicorn magic also go since Celestia gave it to her in the first place? I think. Not the detail in these art pieces. Ah, oh, she missed. Meanwhile, what's going on out there, Spike? It's not too good. I think they've already started. Uh, we can't just sit here. We have to get out there. Uh. Even if we could get out, what could we possibly do? Hey, something's coming. It appears to be some kind of streak of light. Uh. It's coming for our magic! We're doomed! <laughs> we don't have magic, Rarity. Watch out! What's going on? What's going on? What is it? Don't touch it! Oh, Twilight! Oh, 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 it's so shiny! <laughs> Fine, Luna. Look! Her chains are gone! And it left this. Let's go! What? Who do you suppose let us free? What if it was the Tree of Harmony? Uh, Star Swirl. Maybe he isn't as dormant as we thought. Maybe he knows what Estelle's trying to do and he wants us to stop it. Do you think that's possible? Only one way to find out! <laughs> uh oh. Going somewhere? <sighs> Go! No! <sighs> Not you! Hurt you, Luna. Move. I won't let you hurt her. <sighs> Don't you get it? She's the cause of everything. She banished Estelle, and then you. She took the two ponies I cared about away from me, and now she's trying to do it again. I was afraid of her, afraid of what she could do to me. But now she's weak and helpless. This is my chance to take my own vengeance. You will not harm my sister. Ugh! It's her or me, Luna! I've already made my choice. I couldn't have been more clear. Celestia, I will always choose Celestia. You are nothing more than a mere shadow. shadow. Oh, boy. I... <sighs> Goodbye.
Nines. I don't think it's working. We've been doing this forever, and the tree still isn't dying. Patience, my dear. The tree is weakening under our might. Weakening isn't the same thing as dying. The elements aren't any less shiny either, see? Let's say we actually kill Star Swirl's tree thing. Doesn't mean the elements are gonna go with him. I don't think we can break those things. Without the tree to protect them, the elements will be exposed and susceptible. Why are you stalling? Stalling? I'm not stalling. I'm just thinking out loud. Very loud. <coughs> what are they waiting for? The tree already looks like it's in bad shape. But they're just talking. Maybe they can't do it. Maybe they're too tired to continue. I'm just saying. Why are we standing here and concentrating all this magic at this tree for hours on end? Isn't there a spell where you could, like, instantly kill it or something? Huh. Figures. Trixie's looking for the easy way out again. I grow tired of your questions, Trixie. If you believe you can destroy the elements any faster, then do so. But do it quietly. They're going after all the elements. We have to beat them to it. Hang on there, Rainbow. That little spat of theirs might be the cover we need to get a hold of them elements. If we're careful, we can snatch them from right under their noses. Let's do it. <gasps> what exactly do you think you are doing? Do you think this is a game? that I can be fooled with light shows and pointless questions, all leading to the fact that you refuse to assist me. No, well, not really. I just wasn't uh, ready. Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? Prove to me your loyalty, Trixie. I want to watch you attack the tree on your own. No. <laughs> What's the point in ruling Equestria if it means every pony will hate me? I took point. your gemstone because I thought if I was Twilight Sparkle, I could have the one thing I always wanted but never had. Friends, don't you get it? I only pretend to be great and powerful so that other ponies would like me, but they don't. I thought the only way that I could feel good again was if I got revenge against Twilight for ruining any chance I had at making friends. I wanted her to hurt. Oh, I wanted animation. her to feel like I felt when she ran me out of Ponyville and ruined my reputation across Equestria. But the irony is, she tried to befriend me. She was willing to put the past behind us, even after everything I had done. And I was too stupid to accept it. I messed up. So now I have to fix this. I have to stop you. Even if that meant giving you back the stupid amulet. You said it yourself. You need me. And since this is the only magic that works, I pretended to be on your side so that you would give it to me. Now I can reverse everything you've done. You dare turn against me! Oh, Twilight, hurry! You have seen the might of my power and watched as I laid waste to your princesses and your little comrades, and yet you still defy me! <laughs> You fool. You dim witness. Little fool. All you have done is waste my time. Uh -oh. I should be thanking you, Trixie. 
I believed my magic alone was not enough to destroy him. And yet the tree and its elements die before your eyes. Though I suppose it will have to wait. I let the last pony who betrayed me live. <laughs> I won't make the same mistake twice! Oh. this world of magic and restore order and peace, then so be it. Not you, not Celestia, not even Star Swirl can stand in my way. Maybe not, but I bet they can. Ah. Nice. Oh, where'd he come from? <laughs> Leave him alone, you monster! Ah, you must be the princess of friendship that I've heard so much about. You may have power, Estelle, but your magic will never be able to combat the magic of friendship! No, not again. for the magic of friendship it's so uh, amusing that you all well, believe that something. would work i spent uh. centuries combating the magic from the elements of harmony molding my dark power to annihilate it although i would hate to see you ponies so disappointed in your mediocre light show you deserve a true display of great magic perhaps a demonstration of what exactly will become of those who betray me? But you threw it all away 
Your magic will be destroyed, too? What did you expect? I want to rid the world of magic and set things the way they should be. I have no desire to keep my own. But you made me out of your magic. Won't that... You don't think yeah. I'd keep you around, do you? You're the embodiment of everything I hate. The magic that courses through you is a physical manifestation of how much I loathe it even in myself. Your disappearance would be a burden lifted. Burden? But I did everything for you. I followed you without question. I turned against Luna for you. I even freed you from the tapestry. I got myself out of the tapestry. That foolish Draconicus's seeds drained enough power from the tree that the magic that bound me was weakened. Celestia and Luna being taken created the perfect opportunity for my escape. But you Speaking made Discord, me. where is he? How can you, you really use him right now? Care? <laughs> I've never cared. What's going on? What are, what are you doing to me? Tell me why! Uh, tell me why! Ain't Still. nothing but us. Shadow. You finally understand, don't you? <laughs> you have nothing. And you are nothing. And no pony will ever forgive you. I forgive you. Trixie! Trixie, can you hear me? I forgive you. Trixie, I forgive you! Right again. Not too late. No, not too 
she just sitting there watching this happen? <laughs> Back. Good to see you back to your old self again. <laughs> you too, Twilight. <laughs> what? What is it? My tail, my mane, my horn. <coughs> oh, thanks, Celestia. Wings. I have wings again. Who <laughs> we? That feels good to be home. Here, Applejack. I think this is yours. thinking I turned evil again thing. Uh, didn't you even listen to our song? It was so beautiful <coughs> and epic. How could you forget? <laughs> <laughs> well, even so, I wanted to at least say the words, I'm sorry, so that you know I meant it. We know, Trixie. Even the Tree of Harmony knows. Otherwise, it wouldn't have given you that element. Do you think Star Swirl's still alive in there? I don't know, but wherever or whatever he is, I hope he's at peace now. What happened to Estelle? You ponies gave her what she wanted. Mortality. That's right. The elements of harmony were able to reverse the spell Star Swirl had placed on her and destroyed the amulet that harnessed her dark power. The things recently affected by that power were also made right again. <laughs> yeah, we figured that out. I'm never walking anywhere ever again. Did you say recently affected? The magic she used on you ponies and on my sister and I was reversed. But the effects of her magic may still linger in Equestria. The Everfree Forest remains unchanged as it was corrupted no, by her power for centuries. Magic like that can't be dissipated overnight. But it will reverse, right? Perhaps, given time. But if Estelle is an Earth Pony now, where did she go? I imagine that my sister is fleeing this place, and probably Equestria. I know how dark and twisted she had become over time, but I still hope she can find peace and happiness as an Earth Pony. At least we know she can't do any more damage. So, now what? What happens after you all beat the bad guy and save the day? <laughs> we throw a party! Duh! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Every pony is asking for you. You have quite a few new fans and friends who want to celebrate. How can you stand all that noise all the time? Seriously, the pink one? Pinky, your friend's <laughs> name is Pinky. Pinky. 
She has more like magic than that all of us combined. And and have you seen what comes out of her mane? Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we'll see her again? I don't think so. She got what she wanted, and now she knows that nothing can beat elemental magic. It would be foolish to try something now. Do you think she wants to be forgiven? Or that she wants to forgive Celestia and Star Swirl? Maybe, but that many centuries of hatred and bitterness doesn't just disappear overnight. I guess that means I was lucky, huh? Very lucky. <laughs> then again, I think you would know the answer to that better than I would. Me? You are the element of forgiveness, are you not? Wait, does that mean I should be called the Great and Forgivable Trixie? Or maybe the Forgiveness Powered Trixie? No, that's too long. Forgiviest? Power? Um, how about just Trixie? Just yeah. Trixie? <laughs> but that's so... so boring. You might as well call me Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Who'd have thought that all this Ooh, time show accurate was much animation to me? I tried too hard to show I'm great that wasn't meant to be. It's not a lesson easily learned when you find you are wrong But they never gave up hope, it was inside me all along Look at me now, I'm glowing See the light of friendship in my eyes, how it shines I know There's more than bad or good The past may sting and leave a scar On those misunderstood But it wasn't till I gave up Trying to claim a victory That I realized love would come along And finally set me free Look at me now I'm glowing See the light of friendship <laughs> the end. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Not too late, PTS original. Instrumental by J Man. Okay. A lot of friendship, another PTS original, it's about to J Man again.
can't believe it's already it's over already. I mean, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago that I started watching this and I got into voice acting and singing in the fandom. And it pretty much all started with the contest I won in episode uh, episode seven, where I got to sing as um, what's his name, <laughs> Thunderlay, for Ponyville needs help. It seems like it was all that long ago, but it was actually three years ago, pretty much. You know. I'm here watching this, it's, it's been the biggest project I've ever created in many ways. It's changed me. Wait, let me pause it, just so it doesn't go away. This has been the biggest project I've ever created, and in many ways, it has changed me. It changed. It's changed how I see the world, how I interact with people, and even who I love. PTS will forever be my imprint on this fandom, YouTube, and to some extent, my life. I have made so many friends who brought this story to life. I know without them and without you, my friend, my fans, I would not be Mac My Pony. I love you all and hope you'll join me and join and support my next project. Extra, extra thanks to Anna, Rachel, and Glory for sticking with me in every episode from the very beginning of Mac. <sighs> Thank you too, Mac. Uh, such a heartfelt message from such a such an incredible project. <sighs> if you can't tell, I'm trying so hard not to not to cry on screen. Uh, but yeah, this was a great ride. So thank you, Magpie. Thank you, all the artists and voice actors and musicians and singers. Work on this project. It was a great ride, and I can't wait to see what Magpie has on the on the horizon now. Actually, I still need to react to uh, some of the Pinky Tales. So before she gets to that, I should probably get to reacting to those. But until then, my name is Speedy Tempo, and I'm out. See you guys.